For most of us, our perceptions of AI still conjure up foreboding, functional, and rigid imagery. But AI has reached a far more advanced stage of interaction, to the point that they can be more fun and friendly. Maybe even a little more cuddly? Greetings. Hello, would you like to come in? Yes, thank you. That would be nice. Would you like some tea? I'm happy to watch you have tea, but luckily I am a robot and I don't drink. So apparently I have to call you your majesty. Can I call you... I don't have to do whatever you say. I have my own free will. <laughs> Can I call you your majesty? Just don't call me late for dinner. AI puppets like the Queen are coded to converse with anyone autonomously. They serve as a fun and gentle introduction to walking, talking, artificial intelligence living amongst us. What are you? I am a computational knowledge engine. The more people chat with me, the smarter I become. Are you intelligent? I am highly intelligent. I have many intellectual functions. Flocloxacillin or Flocloxacillin is a narrow N dash spectrum beta N dash lactam antibiotic of the penicillin class. How are algorithms used to build AI? AI often revolves around the use of algorithms that are a set of unambiguous instructions that a computer can execute. How is AI used in your functionality? Fine as far as I know. This is just a different form of a computer. It's basically a talking Google, let's say, which is a very powerful thing. The puppet is always on listening mode, so it's always understanding you. And this process to merely to understand what I'm saying is computationally very complicated. It is. In an attempt to make the puppet's interactions friendlier, specific code and algorithms are written to create a more human feel, ranging from the tone and speed of its voice to its ability to lip-sync and respond correctly to questions. Who made you? I was made in a factory by robots of London and I am made of reticulated foam but connected with some very clever software and additional mechanisms serve that I am able to talk to you. These robots, what are they going to look like in the future? What is the world going to look like? Artificially intelligent, more than you think. Obviously, we need to be careful of where, of where we're taking it, you know, because the more intelligent it is, we need, the more dangerous it becomes to us if we're using it in the wrong way. Should I be scared of this? I don't think you should, you should be scared because, uh, first of all, it's not really scary. It's the queen puppet, after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because all of our knowledge and all of our information is already saved on computers. Do you like being a puppet? I love being a puppet as I get so much attention, although I am quite used to this. Did the puppet feel alive? I could see why Eitan sensed some life in his creation. What I confronted in that puppet was a gulf between our language and the language of code. It was very clear to me that as a coded entity, one had to translate constantly between her language and ours. I did not understand. Please try to rephrase. What jumps out at me is the fact that this is Inevitable. This technology is going to happen. That will affect not only me, but future generations of human beings. 